Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome back to No Creek Farms. Now we are just out here getting the very last of the bales tidied up. I think I said in the last, at the end of the last episode I wasn't going to uh, subject you all to watching all the loading. Uh, but we've also had a bit of a shuffle around up in the shed where we were storing all the bales just to make it a little bit more manageable. It was uh, a little spread out or a little... Uh, haphazard in the way I'd organized things previously so I'm hoping what I've done up there now will just make it a little bit easier to have all these bales because we do have quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of hay now and also mindful that we will be having some straw soon once we can get into these wheat fields one over the road and one next to where we are and get those harvested so we will need to find a home or a space for all the straw bales we're going to get these are the last two here, we're just going to get loaded up and run over to the shed. Now other plans for today, I want to get down into the fields we ploughed, get all the rocks picked up out of there, so we'll uh, need to put the bucket on the front of this tractor and we'll run down and do that with this. Uh, and we may even make a start on some planting. Also keeping an eye on the milk price, it is going up and uh, I'd like to buy a new tanker or something for milk delivery because I just think something other than the uh, truck we've got at the moment would be a good idea. I was going to push those up and tidy them up but probably no need because we don't need to fit anything else on. We'll just get here and give them a strap and we can get the trail hooked up and back over to the farm. The other thing you might notice, our money situation, $180,000, so we have paid the $205,000 for the baler and this tractor. We get over, get this unloaded, and uh, then move on to the main tasks. Just getting these last few bales here in the shed, as you'll see, we've uh, moved the forager moved the bagger and restacked a lot of the round bales it's given us a wall of hay right across the back here so I never did actually tally how many bales we had total but uh, must be a fair few all 8,000 litres as well so we are not going to be running short on grass anytime soon there we go, we'll just go and get these last two and uh, then we can pack things up We've got the straw blower out there on the back of the moline. We're going to have to get that put away somewhere too. And probably uh, sit back in the shed there in front of some of these bales because we obviously won't need to get access to them immediately. There we go. We'll just leave the trailer here for now, I think. Might be a better spot for it. Now somewhere around here, there is our bucket. So uh, we'll just leave these forks sitting here. Still have all that silage we have, or chaff, we haven't compacted or covered yet. Uh, along with one full bag of silage still so we'll just leave that there for now not sure what we're going to do with that yet but uh, we will head down to the fields down the back and go and check out our rock situation from where we ploughed the fields so here we are down in the field you can see as we look across uh, I can see a few rocks there and even see some right over there in the distance I think we'll just work our way around I'm not sure if I've got the auto load turned on at the moment. Doesn't look like it. So if we just hold uh, right shift and L. There we go. We will auto load those in. Now I do need to probably place a rock pole down here somewhere. Uh, so we'll just have a think about where we're going to put that as we go around and get these all picked up. So we'll keep scanning. Uh, in fact, I wonder if actually up here would be a good spot for a uh, rock pole. Perhaps there and perhaps one over on the other side between the two fields. So we'll investigate up in here, we'll uh, get around the field and get all these rocks collected. It's a rather large sized one. Right, we'll catch you again once we're all done.
pretty sure we have managed to get all the rocks. It was a bit hard to spot some of them. I was surprised when I uh, had to go back over ground I'd already covered. There we go. They are all dumped out and we are cleared off. Now I'm really looking forward to the opportunity soon to try out the uh, rock picker that Pema's modding has been working on with uh, Kadirk Farms and the help from Ford Ag. That is going to be a lot of fun doing that job. Uh, but for now we will use the bucket and it has done a great job as well and what better excuse to get to use this tractor again which I am really really enjoying. I think it has been a very good addition. Now I know a few of you have suggested perhaps we need to get one of the other rid of one of the 40 series. Uh, it's something I'll think about. I'm not too worried about it at the moment. But uh, let's head back up to the yard and make a th have a think about making a start on some planting. I still haven't even thought about what I'm going to plant in those fields yet. Won't be corn. Uh, so soybeans is the obvious choice, but uh, we'll give it some consideration and see. But before we even think about doing any planting, we've got a bit of equipment to put away. It's got a bit untidy up here actually, around the sheds. The uh, winner over there as well. This baler was looking filthy. There's the uh, swather, the mower. And we've got the 4240 there with the uh, tether on it too. So a little bit of tidying up to do. And then we will have a look at what we're going to do next. So after a bit of organisation, tidying up, and uh, we've kind of got the planters out. So we have the two planters here, all set up. Decided we're going to try the 6910 out on the smaller planter. Should be more than powerful enough for that. Won't have the issues we had with the baler with that one. We've got them all hooked up, set up, and uh, filled with canola seed. So we're going to go down and plant some canola. I know we trialled it quite a while ago, and it seemed to grow grow quite well in this region so I uh, thought we'd give it a go again. We've obviously got the trailer set up here with our fertilizer and seed on it so nothing better than taking the two tractors down to the fields down the back and making a bit of a start on planting. Let's look at the 8330 over here with the, the 455 cedar and uh, we're just getting that all unfolded now i'm going to set the worker going up on this do some course play and uh, get them to plant this field we've got all the seeds set up there correctly everything is looking pretty good however i've just noticed the maintenance requirements i should have checked that before we came down i didn't give it a proper going over so i might have to uh bring the service truck over here the pickup and give this a little bit of uh some TLC just to make sure it's running as well as it can. So I've brought the truck over, we've got the laptop out and if we just take a look there, condition is uh, as low as it'll go. I've only got 1.3 hours on it so it obviously uh, wears out pretty quickly. That's that all taken care of if we just pull the truck forward so we can get the tractor into that uh, service square. Right about there should be be good and again we'll bring that up and repair the tractor as well they can go away and uh, we will get the worker underway with uh, planting in this field now so there's our course we've got three headland passes and then just plant in an up and down pattern so we'll pop in here we've got canola selected just double check that again and we will start from our very first waypoint which we'll just back up a little bit to make sure we are behind that should be pretty good to go from there so we'll turn that on and they're off that's looking good so we'll leave the worker here they can uh, carry on with this and we will go and make a start in a couple of the smaller fields with the other cedar and tractor over here in field 18, our furthest field away, our nice uh, compact little field. Probably the most awkward field we own too to harvest. But uh, we will get this drill turned on and make a start running around here getting some canola planted. Like I expected, no issues whatsoever pulling this. Uh, we can obviously direct drill straight into this soybean stubble, which is uh, good to see. 
Now the other tractors, it got about a 50 minute job to get that field planted. I'm hoping we should be able to run around here, get this field done, possibly the other small one, number 17. And uh, they might be close to being finished. May have to stop at some stage to go and top them up with seed. We will see. I'm just going to carry on with this in here and uh, we'll catch you when it's done. That's the field pretty much finished. Frustratingly, for some reason, we were skipping a whole lot of sections. I don't know whether it's the planter, whether it's the uh, field, just like that. Almost like there's a little hollow there, which the uh, planter won't drop down into. Even at different angles. Sometimes it'll work, other times it won't. A little bit frustrating. Here we go, see on that angle we were able to get it. But we've used less than 50% uh, of our seed and fertilizer, which is good. Should leave us enough there to go and uh, make a start in the next little field, number 17. But before we do that, we will just jump over to the worker and uh, see how they're getting on over in the other field. Well, as you can see there, they are making great progress. So I think this is probably their first up and down row proper possibly their second actually uh, but we're all made ready with this nine meter wide planter almost halfway across which is good what's going to be the time uh, factor in this is just a little bit of mucking around doing the short rows either side there of that pond but uh they're going well still got 30 percent fertilizer there plenty of seed we will have to uh, get over with the truck and top up their fertilizer before they finish i expect uh, but we'll leave them here to carry on going and we will go and get field 17 planted we will get going straight in here uh, obviously again direct drilling straight over top of the soybean stubble from last crop uh, worked okay for most of the last field just those few issues we had but uh, we should have enough seed and fertilizer to be able to get this done uh, and a little skip there uh, and then we'll uh, be able to move into the other smaller fields and hopefully get the course play worker set up in the big field number 14.
And field 17 is pretty much finished. Again, a few more issues, and I can't recall having had issues with this cedar in this field quite like we have this time. So I don't know whether it's the tractor, whether the hitch is a bit higher and it's lifting it up, or what could possibly be causing it. Uh, but I might, when the work is finished over in the field over the back, I might come over and see if we can just tidy up some of those patches. Uh, we want to be able to maximise much yield and profit off those fields as we can. We're just about empty of seed and fertiliser, so we'll just get pulled up here and top things up, and then move on to the next fields. Next field, field 15 over here, tucked away in the corner. This one was obviously uh, lined, but has not been ploughed, so again, direct drilling into the stubble. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more success with this one without skipping too many spots. So again, just as I say that, we get a spot there. It's uh, becoming a little bit frustrating to be honest. But we'll very quickly get around this field and uh, then we'll see how the work is going in the other one. Well, there's another one down, 15 finished. Only a couple of little spots that we missed or we skipped over that we couldn't get done. This is going to pull straight through in here. And what I'm actually going to do, we're going to get the work going on this field and we're going to jump over and finish the other field off on our own and uh, then make a start in the big field. And there we go, they are off and running. So the only thing we have to be mindful of is the tree in the middle of the field. We'll probably have to come and help them negotiate that at some point. But uh, they should be all good to go to leave. So let's hop over into the other tractor, the 8330, and see how uh, that one's going and how much we've got left to finish. So as you can see, we are two and a half short passes left to go. So not too much at all. However, again, this cedar is already showing as almost 100% uh, maintenance requirement which for the amount of time it's been running less than an hour we had 1.6 hours on it to start we're up to 2.3 so less than an hour and it's 100% which doesn't quite seem right in my books uh, but that's okay we don't have too much to go and uh, before we start in the next field I think we'll get over to where the pickups parked and get the fertilizer and seed topped up then make a start in 14 so we can get it serviced then and get underway on that field but uh, this is all going pretty well only a couple of passes here left so we'll get this finished and then we'll be in field 14. Field 14 is finished we've come over here we've given the cedar a good going over it is now all fully serviced and ready to go again and you can see up the top part of the field there the other tractor is well underway although once again we've got quite a big mist section there which is mildly frustrating we'll get that backed in there we've topped up the seed and we will get the fertilizer topped up now i might just try while we've got the planter here or this cedar here i might get unfolded and just run it along the edge and see if it will uh pick up these pieces whether it's got a better amount of flex or contact to the ground than the other planter does which uh, we will very quickly find out get that turned on get it dropped down see how it goes or running along here go okay. well certainly already we're seeing a lot better result even when I run it up the edge there a little bit than the other cedar which is uh which is good does prove that it, perhaps it is the cedar that is causing the problem. You can see there's quite a lot of flex in those uh, row units there, or those droppers or whatever you might want to call them. So that's good, we'll get this bit tidied up here and uh, then we'll make a move into the big field next door, as well as tidying up some of the other little patches in the other fields. Just over here in 17 as well, picking up these sections which uh, we went over a number of times in a number of different orientations with the other cedar and uh, no joy but this one is just gobbling it up no 
worries at all. So I don't know, maybe maybe I need to look at buying another cedar like this. Having two of these on the farm, we'll certainly get through the ground a lot quicker. And uh, it's doing a pretty decent job. Worth considering. Anyhow, we'll get these last little bits tidied up and make a start in the big field. And we are underway here in 14, getting started in really the last of the fields, not counting the one that's already being planted. This is certainly going to take us a little bit longer than any of the other fields, uh, but hopefully once the smaller tractor's finished as well, they can come over and give us a hand to carry on and get it all done. I'm just going to run around the outside, do probably three headland passes, and uh, we'll see how much that we can get this done. How much of this we can get done, or we uh, call it a wrap for this episode. Looks like we missed a rock in picking it up. I heard the clanging as it was bumping into our uh, row units down there. Doesn't look like I can see any damage. Uh, but we'll just have to put this one off to the side here somewhere. There we are. I can just uh, put it up here in amongst the trees where it shouldn't cause us any more problems. But hopefully it hasn't done any damage to the sower, to the planter. Oh, and it's rolled back out. It really does want to cause us some problems. Get you back up here by the uh, by the trees. Right, looks like it's going to stay put this time. So uh, we'll carry on. Just coming up on two headland passes done. We've used over two thirds of our fertilizer, so I'm probably not going to make it around again without a top up. And I do want to take three headland passes off. We'll just stop here, and uh, we're going to get refilled. But we're also having a few issues, as I knew we would, with the tree up there in the other tractor. So I think this is going to be a good spot just to wrap things up for this episode. We've uh, obviously managed to get a mountain of planting done today. We've still got. A wee bit ahead of us, uh, but we'll get that wrapped up at the start of the next episode. And uh, hopefully by then, we might be able to even make a start on the wheat and getting that harvested. So we'll see how things are going. We'll just get over here, rescue the worker, and they can keep on working and uh, hopefully get this bit finished off as well. There we go. All rescued, no more trees to worry about in the field. I do wonder whether we should cut it down. It's a nice looking tree though, good spot for a rest. And on that note, let's uh, wrap things up. Thank you all very much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed that episode and I'll catch you in the next one.